though. Only one train has that laugh. It's Tom Moss the prank engine. He's going to be a nuisance. He stopped at every weapon and tampered with each of them. <laughs> the animals soon noticed him. Hey look, it's Thomas, said Beshti. No, that's not Thomas, said Punga. It's Tom Moss, said Kyle. Thomas warned us about him, so the animals sprung into action to get rid of him. Firing the coconut blaster, said Bunga, but it exploded mid-air and sent confetti everywhere. <laughs> that wasn't a coconut, said Bunga. He's tampered with my coconut blaster. Don't worry, said Ono, I'll trap him in my net. And he fired it. But when it reached Tom, it was just in pieces. Tom had cut the net up earlier. He broke my net, cried Ono. <laughs> I'll get him with my catapult, said Beshti. But Tom had replaced the boulder with a large bouncy ball. We need help, said Kion. Tom Moss was causing all kinds of problems. Meanwhile, not so far away, Peppa Pig and Rebecca Rabbit were about to go on a trip. Are you ready for a fun couple of days? asked Rebecca. Yeah, replied Peppa, and they put their luggage in the back of the plane and boarded. Wow, we're really high up, said Pepper. They were soon over the savannah. Hey look, there's Thomas, said Mr Rabbit. That's not Thomas, said Pepper. That's Tom Moss, and it looks like he's being a bit naughty again. So they decided to turn the plane around and get some help. And soon enough... Thomas chased Tom around. Get him, Thomas! cried Kion. Tom went back through the tunnel. So Thomas followed him. But when they emerged, Tom was nowhere to be seen. Oh, we lost him! cried Thomas. Kion then came through the tunnel. Thanks for sorting him out, he said. We almost got him, said Pepper. Maybe next time, said Kion. Tom Moss the Frank Engine seems to have got a new friend. It's Janjar. I wonder what they are up to at the volcano in the forest. Meanwhile, the Lion Guard team were on the lookout for an old dinosaur egg that they'd been told would give them clues as to their ancestors. The egg is around here somewhere, I know, said Kion. I'll have a look, said Ono. And he flew off.
Yes, there's the egg. He told the others that Janjar had got it, and it's big and on top of the volcano. How are we going to get it? said Kion. At that moment, Thomas came along. Can I help you? said Thomas. Yes, please, said Kion, and they thought of a plan. Thomas took Kion close to the volcano. Ono flew over the volcano and tried to land on a branch. The branch gave way, but the disturbance knocked the egg down. Thomas and Kion grabbed the egg and left quickly. Janjar and Tom Moss couldn't believe it. This doesn't look like a dinosaur egg, said Kyle, but let's open it anyway. It was a Zootropolis egg with a rubber inside. I wonder if Janjar has another egg, said Fuli. Ono went for another look. Yes, they do, said Ono. The egg's halfway up the volcano. This one's mine, said Fuli, and she got into Thomas. When Thomas and Fuli arrived, they saw Janjar and Tom Moss in the dungeon. Thomas reversed into the siding. Fooly jumped up to the egg and pressed a lever to make the egg fall into Thomas's truck. With Fooly aboard as well, Thomas sped off. No, we've lost another egg, said Janjar. Oh dear, said Fooly. I hope I'm not related to this egg. It's not the dinosaur egg, said Kyle. They opened it anyway. It was Gladstone Gander inside. Ono went to look again and saw another egg under the volcano's lava flow. Hmm, I'll have to use my powers, said Kion, and off he went. At the volcano, Kion summoned up his powers to raise the lava flow a little. He hoped that it was enough to release the egg. Thomas backed up to the volcano and indeed the egg fell out. Off they went. This must be the dinosaur egg, said Kion. But it wasn't. It was actually a Winnie the Pooh egg. Inside was Winnie the Pooh's friend, Rabbit. Ono reported back again. They have another egg in the dungeon and they're guarding it. That must be the dinosaur egg. 
We need a distraction, said Foolin. I've an idea. And off she went on Thomas. Thomas dropped Foolie off and then went to the other side of the volcano. Foolie made a noise in the bushes and Janjar went to investigate. With Janjar out of the way, Thomas steamed into the dungeon, took the egg and left really quickly. He picked Foolie up on the way. Good work, said Kion. We now have the dinosaur egg and we can find out about our ancestors. They started to open it, but then it carried on opening itself. Inside was a human? What? We are descended from humans? said Kion. Back at the volcano, <laughs> Janjar and Tom Mox were laughing. They knew the egg would get taken and put the human inside. We all know that humans are descended from animals, not the other way round. Thanks for watching our story, which features the lion guard Hyena's Hideout playset and includes Janjar. In the base, there's a lava flow which goes into the dungeon. If you press on the branch, a lever throws a boulder down the volcano and if you press a switch, the platform collapses. There's an old tree that you can put your favourite character on and they will spin down. The lava flow will also slide upwards, revealing a secret cave. What a lovely morning, thought Thomas, looking out of Tibna's sheds. And off he went. Thomas was staring right at the ground. Where has the turntable gone? The turntable connected all the sheds together, so only one piece of track was needed to get to them. But today, it wasn't there. What's all the noise? said James. What have you done with the turntable, Thomas? said Gordon. How are we going to work today? said Henry. Are you all right, Thomas? said Percy. Sir Topham had arrived. I'm not quite sure what's happened, he said, but I'll get a new turntable put in straight away. <laughs> On the other side of town, laughter could be heard. Tom Moss the prank engine. I think it might have been you. It didn't take the engineers long to fit a new turntable and Thomas was the first engine to use it. It was good to get out on the track again and Thomas was enjoying the journey. Then he had a bit of luck. He heard Tom Moss laughing and immediately knew that it was him who took the turntable. I need a plan, he thought. Yes, I know. Off he went to meet Percy and James and he told them his plan. A little later on, he met Percy near Tom's tunnel. Tell the other engines to meet me by the signals at the garden shop, Thomas told Percy quite loud, in one hour's time. They left, but Thomas doubled back. He saw Tom Moss leave his tunnel. The plan was working. Tom went towards the garden shop 
and changed all the signals to red. Then he hid. Meanwhile, with Tom on the other side of town and out of his tunnel, Percy and James were very busy bringing large bricks backwards and forwards. They completely bricked up the back of the tunnel. They also hid a pile of bricks behind the trees near the front of the tunnel. Thomas went to the garden shop. The signals were red, so he waited. And waited. And waited. <laughs> Having caught Thomas, Tom Moss crept away. Thomas saw this and knew the light wasn't really red and followed. Tom, pleased with his work, reversed into his tunnel. Percy and James sprung into action and bricked up the front of the tunnel. Thomas arrived. Did it work? he said. Yes, said Percy. He's now trapped and won't ever get out. But as they were celebrating, Tom Moss burst through the wall and headed for the forest. After him, Percy, said Thomas. But Percy didn't move quick enough and Thomas knocked him over and came off the track himself. Oh dear, Tom Moss got away again. <laughs> it was a very special day for Gordon and Spencer. They were both due to pull some very important coaches. They stopped for a quick chat. Are you as excited as I am? asked Gordon. Oh, I think I'm more excited, replied Spencer. We've got to make sure that we stay clean today, said Gordon. Well, it's almost time to pull the coaches. I think we'll be fine, replied Spencer. How he regretted saying that. <laughs> oh no, it's Tom Moss. And he's pulling what looks to be an engine. But it wasn't an engine. He reversed up to Spencer and sprayed him with mud. Oh, that's disgusting, he cried. Tom did the same thing to Gordon. Oh no, we can't pull the coaches looking like this, he cried. <laughs> Quick, get Tom, cried Spencer. So Gordon chased. But as he got close, Tom sprayed him again. Oh. So Tom made it back to his tunnel. So Spencer and Gordon had to pull the very important coaches covered in mud. It was very embarrassing. So later that day, they told their story to James and Thomas. Oh, that's awful, cried James. Tom needs stopping, said Gordon. We need to come up with a plan, added Thomas. Hmm, I've got an idea, said Spencer, and he told the others. That evening, Thomas and James were pretending to sleep, and they'd put some paint cans right beside them. Out came Tom. 
he looked for someone to prank, and saw the paint and two sleeping trains. <laughs> so he painted them. He painted Thomas green and James yellow and black, like a bee. Boo! they cried. Tom ran. He won't get very far, said James. Spencer blocked Tom's path. And so did Gordon. Until he was completely trapped. Yes, we've got him, cried Thomas. But Tom hadn't given up. He barged James out of the way. Spencer, get him, yelled Thomas. So Spencer chased him. James was shoved out of the way, but before Tom could escape, Spencer derailed him. Yes, he's not going anywhere now, cried James. Sir Topham Hatt arrived. Tom, you've caused nothing but trouble. I'm afraid we're going to have to take you to the scrapyard. Uh -oh. oh dear, it looks like Tom is doomed. Will he escape? Find out soon. said Thomas excitedly. Is there a clown on the Isle of Sodor? Maybe there's a carnival. I must tell Sir Topham Hatt. <laughs> and Thomas steamed away to find Sir Topham Hatt. Oh, hello, Thomas. What brings you here? I found a clown carriage. Is there a carnival here somewhere? Not that I know of, Thomas, but I'm sure we can quickly make one. So Thomas left the station to tell all of the other engines, who all started to find different items for the new carnival. Meanwhile, the Joker was trying out his plan. <laughs> My plan works. Soon. Isle of Soda will be mine! Hmm, that's odd. There are fireworks over the Joker's factory. I hope he's not up to anything. OK, Thomas and Percy, I have two important jobs for you today. Thomas, I need you to pick up some guests for the carnival. And Percy, I need you to collect the clown. Let's go! Soon, James found the two trucks of fireworks which the Joker had placed there. 
Oh, these will be so good for the carnival. So James took them. Oh, good idea, James. Just be careful with them. Fireworks can be very dangerous if they catch on fire. Meanwhile, at the Bat Cave, stop, Thomas. I need your help. But Batman, I need to collect guests for the carnival. Hmm. I'm sorry, Thomas, but I think it's a trap. I think the Joker is planning something evil. Oh no, now that you've mentioned it, I think he is too. I didn't find a clown carriage earlier. I found the Joker's carriage. We must go and save everyone. The Joker entered his clown carriage and let Percy pick him up and take him to the carnival. You fools! Now you are all doomed! <laughs> oh no, it's a trap! Thanks, Batman and Thomas. Once again, you have saved the Isle of Soap. So, minions, this is the plan. Queen Elsa is visiting the Isle of Sodor for the first time, and Sir Topham Hatt has three expensive gems to give her as a present. We are going to kidnap Queen Elsa and steal those jewels. Mwahaha! The Isle of Sodor was buzzing with excitement. Queen Elsa was visiting for the first time and every single engine wanted to meet her. I heard she's really pretty. I heard she has magical ice powers. Thomas was on his way to the Sodor Palace with Queen Elsa in one of the carriages. Sir Topham Hatt was waiting there with three expensive gems to give her. And so many engines came to watch. There were naughty engines. There were engines that came all the way from Brendan Docks. And some of the engines even dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> Thomas was nearly there when suddenly he crashed into some minions. <laughs> Smirked Gru. Queen Elsa, this is a kidnapping. <laughs> if you could come with me, please. <laughs> Banana? You won't get away with this, Gru. Now to begin phase two of my plan. <laughs> Diesel 10 picked up the carriages <laughs> to continue the journey.
I thought Thomas was picking up Queen Elsa, said Murdoch. Oh well, she's here now anyway, said Arthur excitedly. Music started playing as Diesel 10 rolled up to the front of the Sodor Palace. Introducing Queen Elsa! Hello! She is beautiful! I thought she'd be taller! <laughs> huh? Look, look! Huh? It's snowing! It's snowing! Woohoo! It's snowing because I'm angry! Ha! Ah! 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 Oh, nice one, Queen Elsa, said Thomas. Hop in and let's get to Sodor Palace. Huh? <laughs> Queen Elsa, these gifts are for you, from all of the engines on the Isle of Sodor. Ooh. Thomas and Queen Elsa were steaming along as fast as Thomas could go. Stop right there! Uh-oh. I'm the real Queen Elsa. Quick, run! Run! Ah! Ah! Uh-oh. Now take those imposters away. Ow! Ow! Ouch! Previously, Tom, you've been nothing but trouble. I'm afraid we're going to have to take you to the scrapyard. Iron Man arrived. Lots of bad guys and supervillains will try to rescue Tom. Gordon, go as quickly as you can. Stop! Give me Tom! Never! Penguin uncoupled the trucks. Tom started moving, but nothing was touching him. Oh no, anyone but that, cried Percy. Now, it's him, cried Percy. He's moving Tom. What are we going to do, asked Gordon. Even Tom was scared. It's, it's... Darth Vader! Tom, together we can rule Sodor, he said. Tom liked the sound of that. Vader used the force to lift Tom. And put him back on the track. Gordon and Percy were scared. So they ran back to tell the others. <laughs> Thomas, Spencer and James had washed and were wondering if Gordon had made it to the scrapyard. Guys, guys, we have a problem, he panted. What is it, Gordon? asked Thomas. Darth Vader helped Tom escape, cried Percy. Darth Vader, cried Spencer and James. We need help, said Sir Topham Hat. So they called the superheroes, but they didn't know how to deal with Darth Vader. He's far too powerful, said Batman. Who can help us deal with him? asked Iron Man. Thomas had an idea. Nearby, Tom and Vader were making their presence felt. <laughs> what? Whoa! Ah! Hide! Hide! <laughs> Phew! 
Over here, cried Thomas. Tom noticed him and wanted revenge, so he sped towards him, but didn't think it through. The signal hit Darth Vader off. Thomas ran, with Tom just behind. <laughs> uh, stupid train, complained Vader. A Star Wars rebel fighter approached him. You, cried Vader. Out stepped Luke Skywalker. Thomas told me you were here. Leave these poor trains alone, he said. But Vader resisted, so they dueled. Vader went in for a strong lunge, but Luke evaded it. Huh? Gordon approached them. and knocked Vader over. He was defeated. Well done Gordon, said Luke. Oh, thank Thomas, he came up with the plan, Gordon replied. So Luke dealt with Vader. And as for Tom, well, it took Thomas a while to realise that Tom had stopped chasing him. Where did he go? wondered Thomas. Turns out that Tom had no interest in chasing Thomas. He just wanted to be nice and safe back in his own tunnel. <laughs> so everyone regrouped. Well done everyone, says the Topham Hat. You all showed great bravery today. Tom did get away though, said James. But he's just glad he's not heading to the scrapyard, said Gordon. He won't bother us for a while. So Tom was back in his tunnel, thinking up of his next prank.